Hey guys, how are you? And today what we'll be doing is welcome to Ace Designs first of all. Sorry for the rude introduction. Today what we'll be doing is tutorial on Photoshop and it's on this cool little effect called the light beam. Now this is not my effect because I am terrible at making effects. I just know how to do the effects. This is not my tutorial however because I'm just up here to actually load a tutorial to be honest so you guys actually have something to do. So yeah, um, it's the effect is this and we're going to be making that so i hope that you guys will be enjoy this tutorial but before you get started um thank you for the subscribers even though like i haven't been uploading videos for one month yeah but anyway let's get started into the tutorial because i viewed it once and then i had to re-video it because my thing crashed so let's get s started so yeah let's get started so we're going to go up up photoshop I'm gonna go to Control N, and we're gonna do the width. This this is what the tutorial says. Color mode, RGB. Background color. I'm just gonna go to Control A. Okay, so if it's not black, make it black. The color background black. Now I'm gonna make a new layer, and we're just gonna get the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to do the fixed ratio and the the width, the height. I don't know. We're just going to draw one, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Normal, and we're just going to click it off the here and draw. Like this, we're just going to zoom out, actually. It's a bit too in. Now we're just going to move this a little bit. Hold shift while you're moving this so it doesn't move off. Okay. So now once you've drawn this on the new layer, you're going to fill this in with white. So you're going to grab your bucket tool and you're going to make sure that your foreground color is white. I'm going to click in there and that's going to fill it in. Press Ctrl D. I'm going to duplicate that layer by pressing Ctrl J. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Galushian Blur. And we're going to make the pixels 8. 8.7 to be exact. Now we're going to merge that layer and press Ctrl E. What that does, it makes it a little bit blurry. Now we're going to rename this layer to um, body. So we're going to go to layer, rename layer, and I'm just going to type in body. Cat box. All right. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, actually making the ball around it. So we're going to grab the smudge tool. It just click and click it there. Now we're going to be using the chalk brush. I don't know what it is. I just found it on my brush settings here to scatter. And we're just going to be using size 149. Actually, we're going to size this a bit down like this. All right. And you just go ahead and make a big ball. Oh, sh no, 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 no. Make sure that the strength is 14%. That's what the tutorial says. 14%. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be slowly but good. We're going to drag this out. So what do we have to talk about while I do this? And I should have bring it on my graphics the um, tablet because it's going to take a long time. I'm going to make the size actually a bit bigger. Right, there it is. Sorry for, like, the screen changing. This might my bloody Photoshop. All right, so we've gone down to the stage where we've kind of made a ball. little ball. Now, this is just for tutorial purposes, so you guys obviously got to make it much more accurate. But, you know, I am a kind of a perfectionist with this stuff. But, you know, I was like, you know, you guys know what to do with this. So... Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to have faith in you. That's what I do. So I'm going to press Control J and that's going to duplicate that layer. Change the opacity right down to 50% on the dot. I'm going to fill to 50% and we're going to get the strength to all the way up to 30%. Now we're going to do the same but we're going to make it just a bit bigger. So... Okay, so now we've got the ball. Okay, so. 
Actually, that's getting way too big around, so. Just gonna make the size a bit smaller. Okay. Luckily, we can smudge in and re begin. Yep, back in there. <laughs> My computer has a spastic attack now. All right, now once you've got that. Okay, so we've got the actual frame now, and now what we need to do is we need to make a little curved line. So let's get started with that. So now we're going to make a new layer and we're going to grab the ellipse marquee tool. I'm going to do it a fixed ratio with the width 10 and the height 500 and we're going to just click and drag like that. Now we're going to fill this in with red for for now we're going to fill it in with red. We'll change it later. So we're just going to grab paint bucket tool. Fill in with red, press control D. Now I'm going to go to filter, we're going to go to distort and we're going to go to Shear and see we can see the line now so without white so it's going to be transparent if you did it with white and you're going to make the shape like this Kind of hard this part because of okay. I'm just gonna use the grid to my advantage. Press OK with that. Now we're just going to refill this to white. So just grab paint bucket tool, refill that to white. Okay, now we're just going to place this all around the actual thing. So we're just going to use this and we're just going to rename this layer to layer, rename layer, and this is just going to be the baseline. Baselines. And we're just going to resize this with Control T in that. Um, okay, sorry, I just thought I lost my work then. Control T and you know, just work this way around. Press Control J. Honestly, this is really annoying me, so I'm just gonna go flip horizontally. Just gonna resize this to here, like that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just gonna. I'm actually I'm gonna do it a bit different, so I'm gonna do it on one side first, and I'm just gonna do it. Show you later. God damn it! Just gonna control J that one. Gonna control T and you just wanna resize this. You can right click and click f vertically. I'm just gonna resize this one down to here. And we've got one more to do, so we're just gonna and we can right click and do wrap. 
and if we if I'm not too bad at this can rechange that to that size now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to click control sh hold shift and I'm going to select all those I'm going to press control E and now I'm going to press control J and now you're going to right click press control T and we're going to right click and we're going to go to flip horizontally and we're going to hold control hold shift and move it gently across like that bam we have done this symmetrical opposite view now and now if we press control e and um merge those two layers together we go to right click and do rename layer to base lines okay so now we've got the lines off the body and we're going to press control we're going to press control just so we've got a body and base lines, and now I'm going to make a brush. So, yes, and we're going to make the particles around it. So I'm going to grab the brush tool and make the size three, spacing one three five, hardness a hundred, um, shape dynamics size one hundred one. 100% minimum diameter zero angle jitter zero roundness jitter zero scattering scatter 100% count two and counter jitter 100 and now you'll have this one and now if you go over the lines you make a new layer a group layer make a new group and if we go right over the lines Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to make a glass sheen blur on the lines. Whoops. So I'm just going to go to filter blur glass sheen blur and it's not going to be so big on this one, but it's still going to be 45. Yeah. So now we're going to go to brush. Now I'm just going to try. And these particles will now stand out more because of the glass sheen blur okay so it's looking quite nice actually so I do like this effect so alright so now we're just gonna go to brush tool and we're just gonna remove some of the party um, eraser tool actually just going to remove some of the particles due to inaccuracy using the mouse. I really should have used my graphics tablet for this particular effect. Just going to redraw some. Broom, I have to use a. I have to make this a thumbnail. This effect, so to make it good for you guys to click on the bloody video so yes anyway I'm quite liking that actually it's quite nice anyway so it looks like we have actually done the pixels and now for the color so there's no really tutorial the tutorial doesn't state you how to make color so I guess we will I'll have to find that out so I'm just gonna rename this dots If we press Control U, no, that doesn't work. Paintbrush. If we make a new layer and we get brush, brush tool, make the size like this, make it like that. But we change the color mode to color. There we go. So now this is how we do colors. So you're going to grab, make a new layer above that, and you're going to rename this to layer, rename layer to color. Should be you, not American. Now make a color, you know, pick color. So channel theme is usually yellow. So I'm just going to make blue for this particular one. So let's go to blue. And now you're going to layer mode and make a color. And the brush size you want probably 175, 174, you know, something around there. So 150 doesn't really matter. And now you can, you know, color in that. So we're just going to go like this. 
now you can be like more accurate and you can make like different segments other parts other colors and yes it's quite interesting this effect and it's very effective actually like it's a pleasing to your eye and so now we're just gonna color in the main bit with you know whoops actually why not just make it all so I'm just gonna paint in everything so like that so anyway guys that's how you make the color and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome tutorials um, if you just want to make this whole one layer just press ctrl e ctrl e ctrl oh that's not what you want to do <laughs> That is not what you want to do with the color layer. Just make a group. I'm just going to rename this to... to line. I'm just going to teach you how you can make this into a banner. Just make this into a banner. So now... T. That's my phone going off. Sorry for that. So you do that vertically, and now if we resize this horizontally, make a text tool. Typography, and we're just gonna do this. We'll find this one. Okay. Ace design. Okay, and we're just going to take that, I'm just going to resize this text. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, that's the final product. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button. If it feels a bit confusing, just go back to the normal tutorial and watch that. And yeah, bye.